My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Let's be honest, not all snakes are beautiful. Some are drab and boring, but everyone has their own unique preferences as to what can make a snake look pretty. However, I think we can all agree that king snakes are absolutely gorgeous. And Louisiana's most common king snake is certainly no exception. This is the speckled king snake. They can be found pretty much anywhere in the state and are only one of the four king snakes native to Louisiana. And so the search was on. Despite being a fairly common snake of Louisiana, it's usually not the first snake you're gonna find. Usually what you might find first are some of the snakes that would make a great meal for the speckled king snake. I spotted our first brown snake sitting in a tree. This is a decays brown snake. Check this out. This is the decays brown snake. As you can see, it's a pretty small snake. These guys are a non-venomous species. Um, and in case you're wondering, like, is it a baby? No, this is actually a full-grown female. But on top of that, I can actually see that she is gravid. Gravid is just reptile talk for pregnant. I can tell that she's pregnant because she's really fat, I guess. You can almost see the skin in between the scales because it's trying to stretch around all those babies inside of her. Uh, and it's not just looking like that in one part of her body like a piece of food getting digested would be. And as you can see, she's pretty nice when I handle her, but when I put set her down and she starts to see how big I really am, she gets scared and tries to strike out at me. But the first thing the snake will do when you pick it up is musk all over you. Wow, the cicadas are loud. You're probably seeing a bunch of bugs on the camera right now. These guys are very much like garter snakes. They're close relatives. They act like garter snakes. They almost look like garter snakes because they also have keeled scales. So they have kind of a rough feeling. They have a little ridge on each scale. That's called a keel, and that's what gives it this kind of rough feeling. These snakes are found almost all over the eastern U.S. They go all the way up north, I believe, uh, even into Canada. What this snake goes to eat is actually invertebrates like bugs and slugs and worms stuff like that they blend in really well you'll often find these guys flip it you know you flip some boards or rocks you'll often find these guys sitting up under them apparently you can also find them in trees i don't think it's a very common thing to see these guys uh up in the trees but they can apparently they are very very good climbers and i found this snake about four feet off the ground sitting in a bush does it make a good pet and the answer is unfortunately Nah, it's a small snake, so you, so you can keep it in a smaller enclosure, which is great. I think they'll be very fun to keep if you have the stuff to feed it, which is the hard part. If you want something like one of these guys, that's probably that's easier to find, that is, makes a bit of a better pet, I would go with the garter snake. The search for our king snake goes on, but my time here is limited. So to guarantee that I would see one in the few days I visited, I had some help from a fellow herpetologist local to the area. This is Zachary Gray. You may have seen his channel, Life's Wild Adventures, and I, just like those of you who have watched this content, have learned a lot from him. And as expected, he was the one oh who found our first king snake. Oh my god! Look at that! Good find, man. High five! Boom! I, I was so hoping we'd get one. I was, I was that nervous. That is beautiful! Oh, it's got like a stubby tail. Come here. Wow! Can you even believe a snake this beautiful exists? Let's talk about this right here, the speckled king snake. Is this snake dangerous? Is it venomous? Not one bit. It is a completely non-venomous snake, and they're very harmless. As you can see, it's not tried to strike or bite. And one thing that's neat is, uh, if you look at his belly, he's got that black and yellow kind of checkered pattern. But right west of here, you start getting them with a plain yellow belly. And I like to call, really? them, I like to call them a banana belly, is what oh, it's called. Oh, wow. And they just look super cool. And they start having more uniform spots. So you'll see with this one, it's just like covered in spots. Kind of random almost. Whereas once you get a little bit west of here, they start having like one perfect dot per scale and they all look very uniform. In case you're wondering, can this snake camouflage? And if so, what would it camouflage in? All right, so one thing that's interesting about these snakes is specifically here in Louisiana, they really camouflage well with marsh grass. And one thing that's interesting is, oh, especially yeah. when the marsh grass is coming in in the spring, it looks like speckling. And another crazy thing is, if you ever see a speckled snake, be very careful, especially if it's by water, because when a snake comes out of the water and gets all that green algae on it, they look exactly, it's, it's uncanny, they will look like a speckled king. But I've walked up on moccasins like that, that I thought were 100% speckled king. And it was just covered in duckweed? Covered in duckweed, and I, I went, I was like, oh, 
that's moccasin. But yeah, they can have actually really good camouflage, which is surprising because they are so bright. It's been kind of rainy and conditions like this are not ideal for finding a snake like this. But because there's so much cover that these trees provide, it's not nearly as rainy down here on the forest floor, and so these snakes can still be out. This is in the same family as almost all the other snakes out here except for the moccasins and the coral snakes. And the word king and snake means snake eater. Just like king cobras. King cobras are notorious for eating other snakes. And that's where the word king comes from. And the king snake is no exception. Their primary diet is other snakes. And found, In fact, we found one that had just gotten ran over and you could see that it had actually eaten a ringneck snake that just recently. Yeah. That was insane. If you see one of these guys and you know you're in, you know, moccasin territory, rattlesnake territory, these guys will be your free cleanup crew. I mean, they'll happily eat other venomous snakes. They are almost built to eat venomous snakes because if a venomous snake, any venomous snake that lives around a king snake, if it bites onto the king snake and injects venom, the amount of venom that it would take to kill me or him, or but maybe even both of us combined, would not kill this king snake. How cool would it be to have like an immunity and be beautiful? <laughs> it's actually their favorite thing to eat is other king snakes. Uh, I've actually recently seen- So they're cannibals. Yeah, they will eat others. I actually recently walked up on a king snake. I didn't get it on film, unfortunately, but I recently walked up on a king that was eating a smaller king snake. Wow, and that's amazing. So does the snake make a good pet, the speckled king snake? Nah, I'd say the speckled king snake is okay. Like he said, they're often eating other snakes. So if you do want a king snake, I highly recommend a California king snake. I've seen them in captivity. They've been bred in captivity. They act just like speckled king snakes. And then in my opinion, I think they're just as beautiful. If you ever find one of these, consider yourself very lucky. Despite the fact that we, uh, we were almost sure of seeing one today, I'm really thankful that I got to come out here and get the chance to actually look around for snakes with someone who is much more experienced. Thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the speckled king snake. Thank you so much for finding the speckled king snake. And I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. The morning before flying home, I decided to revisit the area to see if I could find one myself. And lo and behold, laying under a piece of tin was another speckled king snake. Can we flip something with the tin? Speckled king! Wow! Look at you! Seeing these snakes in person was an unforgettable experience because their coloration is so unnatural looking and it almost looks like a painted art project come to life. Sometimes it's beauty like this that allows one to look past the fears that hold them back from respecting these incredible animals. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you wanna learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.